Welcome to a new Team CGC 9.8 video. So a bit of a different video today. I wanted to talk about is there a superhero slash comic book bubble right now? And yeah, I think it's about as good of a time as ever to talk about it because I think CGC 9.8 prices, they're pretty much bouncing around all time highs and a lot of big key issues. And the prices have really kind of exceeded my expectations, I would say. And even like late 80s and early 90s newsstands in the 9.8 are uh, just so expensive right now, like some of these prices I'm seeing recently. So, um, you know, I think there's some pretty big implications if we are in a bubble, because, you know, in my opinion, you don't want to buy something that's in a bubble because, you know, presumably on the other side of the bubble, there's like some pain to be had in the values and things like that. Otherwise, it wouldn't be, really be a bubble. Uh, okay, so. How I broke down the video here is I got some arguments uh, for a bubble and then some arguments against a bubble and then we'll just maybe come to some conclu conclusions at the end of the video here. So uh, get into some arguments for the bubble and uh, two main things I think. The first thing, I just think in general there's like some superhero movie fatigue out there. And you know, and I'm talking about with sort of the general population because you know, as a comic book fan and everything, like we always pretty much love the superheroes, love seeing the superheroes kind of come into life in the movies. But just the general population might be getting a little bit sick of just superheroes in general, superhero movies. Um, you know, really since uh, those kind of Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies and then there was the uh, Iron Man number one, like ever since then, it's just been like movie after movie after movie of uh, superhero movies. So I think that plays into maybe just some people getting a little bit, we could be at a peak of like, okay, it's been going on for so long, like maybe some people are gonna uh, start a little bit fed up and want something a little bit different, possibly. Uh, so that's the first reason uh, for a bubble. The second reason, it's kind of coinciding, I think, with this spike up in prices. And I think the crux of like a, the spike up in prices, certainly in CGC 9.8 books, and I think in a lot of uh, comic books and sport cards and collectibles even right now, uh, the crux of that is it coincides with the coronavirus. So this thing out of left field that happened and changed a lot of people's behaviors, like is that the main reason why the comic books are spiking up in price? I mean, that's a pretty solid argument, I think. It could be true. So I think you take that bit of a superhero fatigue, you know, you mix it with the spike up in prices and this out of left field thing, coronavirus, and that's a pretty decent argument for, you know, maybe we're in a bubble right now and you probably don't want to buy some of these like sport cards and collectibles that are selling right around their all time highs and things like that. Okay, so some arguments against the bubble here, let's go for. You know, I really think, and I've said this in the past on the blog, I think kind of superheroes are really like ingrained in our culture, really. and. I think it's probably going to get even more like that, like it'll just continue because, you know, Disney has the uh, Marvel and uh, uh, Star Wars property. So, you know, those are a lot of classic characters and superheroes within those properties. And as capitalism does, like it usually never stops. So, uh, you know, there's just going to be continuous Marvel and super or Star Wars movies for the next 50 years, let's call it, uh, maybe even longer for sure. Uh, another thing too, like, um, you know, just to illustrate how superheroes are kind of ingrained in our culture, especially the, the big iconic ones. Like Batman in 1989, the movie came out, everyone loved it, uh, it was a big hit. Um, and now in 2021, the Batman's coming out next year. Like I am super jacked about the Batman trailer that just dropped and I was talking to a buddy yesterday who's so pumped about, up about it. So there's still that excitement around a superhero like the Batman for a Batman movie coming out. and I. I just think that's going to continue on like these, you know, these superheroes in these stories are kind of timeless and they're ingrained in our culture, I think. Um, the second thing against, uh, got here, oh, check out. yeah, uh, so against the bubble, I think for sure you can definitely say like prices, prices in the, especially in the 9.8s, which I'm most familiar with, are spiking right now. But I think kind of the long term trend is still intact. Um, so and what I mean by that is if you look back, uh, you know, with a Amazing Spider-Man 300 in the 9.8 or even a G.I. Joe number one in the 9.8, if you start looking back like five to 10 years ago, if you bought these books in the 9.8, it's looking great. Like some people on the team were telling me that, you know, Amazing Spider-Man 300s, even in the newsstand used to be like 500 bucks in like 2008 kind of thing. 
And uh, yeah, I think a new stand sold for like 7,500 the other day uh, in the 9.8 Amazing Spider-Man 300. So the, that is a really good trend. And uh, I think even though we're peaking in prices right now, that trend is, is still your friend basically and uh, will stay intact sort of if you have that long-term time horizon and if you're really patient, which I definitely always kind of advocate for. Uh, next uh, argument against uh, a bubble right now is, um, you know, kids are still really loving superheroes. Yeah, kids, if even more so than when I was young, if that's even possible, I think kids love superheroes even more now. You know, they're dressing up in all the costumes, and I think that that's a good, uh, you know, sign for the long term, because eventually they're gonna grow up and get good jobs, and there's only gonna be one first appearances of all the characters, whatever one they really like. So um, I think that just sets it up well uh, over the long term that kids are still right into superheroes because if they were right into something else and you know my nephew was not dre dressing up as like Captain America and Iron Man and Winter Soldier and Miles Morales uh, uh, during all during the year, not even during Halloween, then you know maybe if he was dressing up as something else, like it would be um, you know pro possibly concerning. But yeah, that's just a, a really good sign I think long term that kids are right into it still. And the last thing here is just kind of a like an ancient comparison, I guess, but I think over time these superheroes could almost become like a Greek mythology type of thing. But, you know, with Greek mythology, um, you know, there's not really like a solid record right now that we could like collect possibly, but I think over time these first appearances and all these comic books are kind of the intrinsic value I've said in the past of these comic books is having their first appearance in pop culture kind of in the pages. Um, you know, you can't, you couldn't really do that with Greek mythology, but moving forward here, this is going to be a way to sort of collect modern Greek mythology almost. And uh, another thing I've sort of um, compared these two in the past is like over time, these could end up being like a Mona Lisa or a Van Gogh painting or something like that. And, you know, maybe not these type of books, but, you know, maybe a high grade Amazing Fantasy 15 or something like that. Like those type of books I think will eventually be like a Van Gogh or a Picasso or a Mona Lisa painting, just super well collected, a huge market for them and some of the prices being astounding, like people, you know, just paying like, you know, $30 million for a painting or something like that. Like eventually uh, Amazing Fantasy 15, those kind of books I think are headed that way probably. Uh, so that's the argument against the bubble. So. Okay, let's come to, to some sort of conclusion here. And two points I do want to make. The first one, I do think like we're at a higher end of a price range in, for 9.8 books in the sort of short to medium term, I would say. You know, especially for a lot of these like Venom books. So we're due for a pullback. Like I think, yeah, that, that's something. And with the coronavirus, that sort of fueled the, the prices moving up. So I think we are due for a pullback, but I do kind of side with the um, uh, against the bubble argument with, um, I don't think there's really, you know, a superhero bubble right now. Um, I think they're ingrained in our culture. There's too many forces and money with Disney behind uh, Marvel and Star Wars for it to just go away or, you know, have a big bubble burst and the values, you know, really plummeting and the popularity plummeting with all the promotion dollars that Disney's gonna put behind this. Um, so yeah, and the kids are still liking superheroes and, uh, yeah. And I think they have that over the long term, long, long term, they have that possibility of just being like a Van Gogh painting or something, you know, something like that. Certainly like an amazing fantasy 15, maybe these sort of the amateur levels of, uh, <laughs> a Van Gogh painting kind of a collector might want. Um, so yeah, you know what I do, uh, take the side of, yeah, maybe we're at in the short term, a bit of a price peak here, but, uh, over the long term, I think superheroes are here to stay and kind of the trend is your friend. Yeah. If you took a long term time horizon on these 10, 10 years ago, you're up huge. Like, yes, but both of these books, you're, you're doing absolutely amazing in values. Um, if you had that long term time horizon. So right now, what can you do? I do think there's not a bubble, but um, I think you can be patient here on certainly a lot of these books that have, you know, the promotion behind them right now, like the Venom books and with that movie coming out and, you know, the quote unquote hot books you want to be really patient on right now. But, uh, you know, I still think you can buy some things in this environment as well. Yeah, I don't really think we're in a bubble, to be honest. Uh, superheroes are, are really popular, but I still think we're set up for the long term pretty fine. 
uh, but maybe at a short term peak in prices if you're, you know, a CGC 9.8 collector. And yeah, I think, you know, some movies lately, I think have maybe flopped a little bit, which is a bit concerning. Uh, some superhero type movies, but there's still a lot that do really well, especially, you know, Spider-Man, Avengers, like the main, uh, and Batman, like that, that's going to, that's going to be a huge movie next year. Yeah. I know I'm going to see it at least two times in the theater. So, uh, I, yeah, I think, uh, you know, you don't want to be too pessimistic here and, you know, you want to pick your spots. You want to be patient because I do think we're maybe at a short term, uh, spike in price, but I think you can still buy certain issues that are kind of cold right now. And uh, we always do those cold videos to check out. But um, yeah, I don't really think there's a superhero comic book bubble right now. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Yeah, I would love to kind of, um, you know, hear some, because certainly every now and then you get a comment on the channel here where it's like, uh, I'm selling everything now. And that was like six months ago, even. I'm selling everything now, like uh, everything's going to crash. But I'm totally used to that being in the stock market. Like I've invested in stocks for about 15 years and there's always someone like oh i sold everything because everything's gonna blow up like that's happened every year almost every month for the last 15 years like so that kind of stuff does not scare me at all uh okay um if you haven't already i would invite you to uh, join the team and subscribe to team cgc 9.8 yeah i would love to have you on our comic book collecting and comic book investing team hit the bell for all the latest notifications add me on instagram and twitter as well all right, yeah, good to hash out some thoughts on uh, the comic book market right now. Uh, yeah, hope you liked the video. Message me on Instagram if you had any questions about anything. But thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.